Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. Mm. No. Yeah. It can be a very Sorry, useful tool. I didn't mean to. Would you? Good for I'll do whatever analyzing I can details, I human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to see you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Not surprised she knows him. She seems kind of... affluent. It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. Mm -hmm. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. Mm. Of course. V, It'll be just this like is important. Mm. Judy's always yeah, been there yeah, for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. I'm a soulless corporate drone at heart. I'm good at saying what people want to hear, mm. to get the money I want, to get the power I want, yada yada yada. What are you doing? I am sorry. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Sensory SIG amps. Acoustic and emotive wave monitors. Oh, top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that'd support additional scanware. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. I'm hoping being a nerd appealed to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. Oh, so did you want me to like- we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. Judy is a brain dance editor. She's like a video editor, but it's not just a video, it's an experience. I can give you new experiences and emotions. Thank you for lending your likeness for my first thumbnail, by the way. I appreciate it. Lizzy Jizzy. Gotta create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? 
A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue enviro. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Nah. -uh. Did Evelyn leave already? Oh, she's right here. <laughs> okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Mm. <laughs> Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly though. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. This is somebody else's memory. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring. Money, now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, uh, hey, uh, uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off. Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That wasn't just seeing it. That was being the person. That's what a brain dance is. A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could warn me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. We felt death. Experiencing things that we'll never get to experience, all right? I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. That's incredible. Like, from a technology perspective, not only are you seeing from the person's eyes, but you're capturing the environment around them as well. It doesn't seem like it goes that far, but still, this is incredible. Maybe it's like tapping into people's subconscious. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Got it, got it. 
It's kind of like the detective scene in Detroit Become Human, I guess. I mean, when you're playing as Connor. All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't no create. You don't need to set Yeah, we set Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the Enviro recorded by the BD roller. Oh, no Focus way. On the, sheet, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Uh. You can only scan a clue during moments when it's perceivable by the person recording the brain dance. Makes sense. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Visual layer, thermal layer, sound layer. Bold sections on the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track is especially bright. After being successfully scanned, clues disappear from the track. So we see something on the visual layer here. The gun. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. The fan. Okay, fuck! On you go! Ah, little shitheads! Go restock, I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. There's another source here. Go restock. I'll take the register. And a of How about you suck a bag of dicks? Okay. We have a deal today on two flavors: Cuddy and yeah. Serpent. Everybody. Wow. So is this something that everybody in Night City has? The ability to make a brain dance, having a what is it? A roller, a BD roller. Your eyes, your own senses, is one thing. But the BD roller itself is doing all sorts of recording in the background. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you but we will. have a record of it. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the oh. screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. So we can only scan something if it was in the immediate vicinity. Makes sense. This is a lot of information to capture. So we can't exactly do it for like the entire store. Oh my goodness. That's me. His own chumba shot him. 
probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. Wow. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Wow, this is like detective work. This is gonna be... Pretty insane. Pretty damn insane. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn? I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, she wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage, observe, not fuck with anything? Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, Thank right. you. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out, just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. So that was pretty subtle there, but from one conversation, we got to pick who to talk to. Time's a-wasting, B. That was entirely dependent on whatever I felt like. Well, what do you think? Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Yeah, we should be frank. Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Wow, this technology has so many implications. Alright, V, eyes open. Gotta find out where Yorinobu's keeping the relic. Let's just watch the whole thing from her perspective first. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to- Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Do you mind if I just wash the whole thing once first? Finish. We shall see soon enough. We're very close. He's off guard around me. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. He wants to rebel. Well, listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot. Wow. Champagne's decent. Removed from reality. The taste boosted somehow? Stuck in nope. some fossilized vision of a world Same bubbly, you'll that be no longer in real space exists. Soon. Of a world that may never I have can existed. feel. I can taste. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Not it. In hmm, hung up. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. No, let's go through it once, first. Uh. 
sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Are we dating? Mm -hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment, it will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Seems like we're dating and he's like completely off guard around me. Even though, I mean, when I say I, I mean Evelyn. And she's like a corporate Very spy nice. or something. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, oh, you'll like this. With the penis enhancements? <laughs> oh no, what are we gonna see here? Oh fuck, it it's like I'm really <laughs> the eye on the prize. Focus. Waru <laughs> come. I miss this. You. I know. Well, I'm glad that was the end of it. Waruiko, you're a you're a bad girl. Okay. Let's go back to the very beginning. Why is the sound still messed up? No. Ah. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Wait, wait. Wait, go back a little bit. I scanned you already, but I didn't see what you said. Did it say something? Was there a pop-up? Alarm system. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. But is this BD roller technology pretty common or what? Because I can't imagine that anybody would trust anybody with a BD roller. Like, this is a lot of information. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. And this guy's some kind of like a robot. Oh, military grade cyberware detected. 96% modified. Was this guy even a person to begin with? 96% modified. Wow. Cut a fuckable meat, are you? Okay, that is not the mouth that should be on a robot. So that sounds like a human. I said no. Were they dating? Or maybe she. Well, I assume they were dating because she seems kind of like. Affluent, but maybe, maybe not officially. Choice. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. No. We'll listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality, stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. This guy's basically plotting a rebellion. Oh my goodness. Scan Yorinobu's data pad while it's turned on. But what, uh, is the conversation finished? Uh, it is. 
Sorry to make you wait. Business. Can't be oh stupid. god. No, do I gotta It wasn't long. <laughs> not even long enough for me to grow bored. Hold on, hold on. Let's go back a little bit and check out this one. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Okay. He walked away, but then I could still hear the entire conversation for some reason. It was getting out of the signal range, but then it wasn't. Scan his data pad while it's turned on. Is his phone his data pad, or is that another thing? There's still a few more things on the bar right now. Get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Did he just grab his phone here? Oh, got in the can. We left. Stuff was pretty fun last time. Wait, there's something around here. If I'm looking at the bar right, right now there is a yellow thingy somewhere in the vicinity. Yeah, that's not enough. Turret! Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. We'll figure it out. Fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I got an idea. Be right back. Oh man. If you can feel the thing someone's feeling, there are so many implications of this. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Like, for example, right here, this has nothing to do with a mission, but... Okay, Evelyn and this guy here, Yorinobu. What if the person watching is not straight? Would they still feel something? This is fascinating. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Manual details a special temp-controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Are we sure we don't want to watch this again? <laughs> okay. No, that's the lamp. That's why it's reacting. It's gonna end soon. I miss this. You. I know. Okay, that's not it. On the thermal layer, it doesn't seem like we get. Indicators on the bar, so we gotta find it ourselves. Certainly doesn't seem to be in this area. The bedroom would be a good bet, I feel like. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is a spot. Right around here. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip oh. matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Tip fluctuations, risk of damage. 12 degrees Celsius. Keep going. 
Something is here. Here? No way. Oh, Donaghy's. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. As if they would normally put a chip inside something liquidy anyway. <laughs> wow, I don't think I would ever be able to trust anybody ever again. How could you? This technology is too much. Fridge. Negative 18. Just a fancy fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Fridge might be a good spot. Oh. Oh, 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 what? Yeah, I'm not sure why it's booting me back. Oh, because I'm too far. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Your Nobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Are we sure there's nothing else we want to see? Wow, I just can't... The applications of this. Experiencing new things that you've never experienced or could never experience, ever. Dying. And now finding out corporate secrets like this. I can't trust anymore. Get everything you need? Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. Thanks. I'll wipe the cash and your data. You were never here. Oh, I leave a record. But only in her brain dance, though, right? Is that a problem? Because it's Evelyn's anyway. It's not like Yorinobu will know about this. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Thank you. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We'll be fine. Relax. I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. This is code for something's gonna mess up massively, right? Is there any conceivable way this would actually go well? V, one sec. Thanks, Judy. Really. And don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I won't get you implicated. Don't worry, we're all professionals here. Sorry, uh, I just gotta reach over here and, uh, grab that. BD of a woman giving birth. These are our concepts. Pro, no one's done it yet. Con, have to hook up to a prenatal wreath, which is more expensive. BD of the most common dreams, compilation. Doable, but it'll have to consistently scroll the dreams of a dozen slash couple dozen people over at least one year to cash the repeating themes. Flying, swimming, falling, going to work, school naked. What about falling out teeth? That's a really common one I hear. Two BD scrolled by two actors. Neural tracks set up so that it looks like one BD. Pro, it'll be Nova, but tech for it doesn't exist. Wow, this is... It's way more than just entertainment. This has extraordinarily wide-reaching consequences. Oh, I forgot I'm not floating anymore. I gotta walk on the ground again. Let's walk. Bye, Judy. Well, what do you think? I'm still stunned by the BD to really think about our little heist here. 
Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kanpeki. Wins are right, plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm, thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. Mm. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. That you're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. Usually, when we have this much information, it kind of makes me feel like we're being set up. You're not worried? Arasaka will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? Yeah, but you're the unexpected one. So they might look into you anyway. Think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex. Biz. And biz only. I feel like a guy like Yorinobu who's so high up there, shouldn't he be really, really careful about this kind of thing? You're sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? Yeah. <laughs> He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? I thank you for your confidence in me, but that's basically saying we are screwed. So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. But we wanna... Dex is somebody that might give us other jobs too. You wanna fuck over our fixer. I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows, and actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. Mistake like that'll cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. Do you want to live a peaceful life to your 80s and 90s, or do you want to go out in a blaze of glory? V? Well, this is not committing to too much, right? Uh, I want to talk to Jackie if possible. Even though, Jackie and T-Bug, would they even be part of the deal? Mm, according to what I heard here, I feel like I don't want to betray Dex, but I'll, I'll, I'll have a think. I'll have a think. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. You don't even know me. Why do you trust me this much? You don't know who I am. How do you know I'll be any good? Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Relive it! Brain Dance Quarterly! This is the one that we've read already, right? No? Brain dance editors have long strived to strike a balance between real, lived experience and technological, experiential purity. The more heavily processed the material, the more obstructed, abstracted the pathways, the clearer the brain dance recording. These fundamental elements of design have guided editors since the first wave of brain to brain experience sharing technology took hold. In their pursuit of balance, however, editors have clearly shown a bias for purity over naturalism over the years, even going so far to use it as a point of pride in the quality 
of their production. But in the industry's latest push for greater purity, has the purpose of the technology already been forgotten? Will we not find ourselves processing and filtering a brain dance recording to the point that the emotional experience no longer extends beyond what we receive from film, television, and video games? After reliving some of the latest titles on my feeder unit, this once academic question now feels all too inevitable with the industry's current trajectory. For a moment, let's consider why some reports suggest more and more users are searching for unlicensed titles on the black market, so-called black brain dances, extreme brain dances, or XPDs. Are we so sure it's the illicit content they are after? Or maybe the real draw is a residual grit we editors try so hard to remove? Distracting thoughts, irrelevant memories, loose associative threads, emotions stretching beyond the desired spectrum. What if this noise is not so superfluous as we believe it to be? What if these peripheral experiences hold the potential to elevate a good brain dance to an exquisite one? We do ourselves a disservice by not exploring these questions before our blind crusade for brain dance purity leads to this industry straight into the bin of obsolete, flash-in-the-pan technology. Okay, would a brain dance of somebody dying be a black market brain dance? There's got to be some kind of regulations regarding this. Go. I need a few words with Judy. Okay, sorry. I'll... I'll get going. Or I'll have some fun by myself here. Time's a waste in B. Okay, that was pretty intense, alright. I just need a moment to recalibrate. Whoa, why is this washroom glowing? Why is it glowing? Oh my god. Alright, alright, I'm gonna go. See if he she might want to retract her offer right away already. What the heck is wrong with this woman? She won't leave. Told her to leave like 20 million times. How things looking, Miss V? Why did you call me right after she asked me what? to betray you? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Mm -hmm. Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance at that chip without that bot. To work then, Miss V. The flathead is a bot. Yeah, I, we, it was... He mentioned it in the little briefing he gave us before. It's kind of curious, though. Could we eavesdrop on Judy and... Evelyn? Mm -hmm. No. No. I guess that's it. Oh, La V, how's it going? What's the status? I think we should avoid leaving a paper trail. Let you know later, Jack. Bueno, looking forward to this. You know, we gotta not have evidence sitting in our brain. Oh man, it's a it's a whole new world here. 4 a.m. last night, Gina and me sitting at the bar. And she's rattling on about the bank stuff, yada yada yada. All the while, hey, are you taking I'm advantage of her? To get a word in, oh, man. I need her to cover for me that afternoon mm -hmm. when I go to pick my daughter yeah, up from yeah, preschool. Yeah. But it's chill, you know. I do. This guy stumbles in, whacked out, All right, almost Mom. knocks over Maul at the door. He go ape sheet inside? Nah, get this. Shum says he wants real fun, real flesh, punch an animal like. No virtue shit. He knows it's not allowed, but he'll pay triple. So, Gina, what she do? Drags the gonk back to a box. Guy's so high, he thinks the BD trolls are some fancy ass toy. And Gina loads the orgy with the infinite loop orgasm at the end. Oh my god. You're kidding. And he couldn't tell? Nah, come on. Even when they're sober, still think that Bukaki finish is real. Mm -hmm. So the whole point of that conversation is to say that brain dances are pretty much completely indistinguishable from reality. There are some good implications of that. Yeah, some people who can never experience certain things will be able to now because of this. What? But for some reason, all I can think about are the bad ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, are all you right, right, using well. this right now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, 
you forgot to spit on me. Would you? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. There's a green dot here. What's the green dot? Relax. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe it's Evelyn. Nothing's wrong, really. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Uh oh, lovers dispute. Ooh, sorry for intruding. Ah, uh, still feel like shit. Little hair of the dog. Yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. Oh, these rooms, these icons probably represent what's happening in the rooms. This is the one that we were in. A family of empire. We. Have read this one. Yes. It's the one in the very beginning about how this family has three people, mainly. Hey! Successful meeting? Very. Hey, Mateo. How well do you know Evelyn? You know, in passing. Please. You know I ain't buying that. A little bit of money to... Um, no, he's paid to not talk. He's paid to not talk. I remember what you said. She come here often? Evelyn? She didn't tell you? Didn't come up. Good answer. She comes around sometimes. See Judy? Maybe. They close? You know, been nice to chat. But I gotta get back to work. No, no, no. Still got a few questions, actually. Hey. You want to dig for info on Lizzie's clientele, go ask him yourself. Those are the rules. Right. Thanks. I kind of did want to bribe him, just to see, but okay. Can we bribe him? Hey, Mateo. You know... Please. Uh, I kind of feel like this might backfire, but I gotta try it. Maybe this will help. With what? Don't owe me. Unless you want another drink. Yeah, okay. All right. Thanks for the chat. Would be nice if we can get a better understanding. Thanks. Better get going. Of what kind of woman Evelyn is. Can we trust her? Call Militech agent Meredith Stout. So that's the lady from Militech who is for some reason also looking for the chip. Got a little problem. Yeah. We'll get out of here first. It's kind of stuffy in here. There a problem? Why you all keep liking this design? I hate this. What? Uh, it's morning! Oh, it's the true going to a bar at night experience. You go outside and the sun is out. Character stats. Character stats. Uh, no, I want to go to the part where we do the points. Where do we do the points? I have two perk points available. Why don't we put it into technical then? So we can open some doors? Yeah? Oh! Perk was the one- Perk is this. Attribute is the other one. Hmm. Grenades deal more damage. Consumables more effective. Craft rare items. Gain more components while disassembling. Junk items are automatically disassembled. Uh, I might want to do that, but I don't even know how that works right now, so I'm not going to do it yet. Maybe some hacking stuff then for the perk points, but for technical ability, I will increase it. Maybe I should have gone body up so that it reaches 5, a nice even 5, but oh well. Disables all cameras in the network for 3 minutes. Physical resistance. Well, if we never get caught, this won't be necessary. Oh, this is getting more money. Do we want more money? Even more money? I mean, okay. Stuff like that will add up, right? These are locked by my level. Okay, I guess I'll get this one. Feel like I'm probably leaning a little bit towards increasing my hacking skills, although I haven't really looked at the other stuff that closely. 
If I wanna be able to stealth better, I should probably look at cool too. And I need a silenced weapon somewhere, seriously. Okay. Regina Jones, help the mocks help the world. Oh, I got this guy already. Yes, sadistic tiger claw. Oh, having the picture here would have been nice to begin with. He's a real shady guy, but hey, we did something good. We got him. We got him. Now, how do I call Meredith? Oh, I don't want to text her. I want to call her. Ah. Uh. Yes. Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. What's happening over Spill there? what you know. Don't make me wait. Transport fuck ups toxic for you. I know. So listen carefully. You and me are gonna meet. See if we can't find a way to help each other out. Mutual self interest. Agreed. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. You know what? Let's go meet her. Let's go meet her right now. We can walk over there while meeting her, and we can do the Kabuki thing now. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. And then hope to God we don't get distracted along the way. <laughs> There's a fixer here. Do I need to go to them, or will they just kind of call me? Oh, okay, let's go to the, the Kabuki thing again. And you know what? Let's drive. We have a car. Let's use it. Is it a nice car? Probably not particularly, but it's not horrible, I would assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how we get to places. Change our radio station. Ooh. This is all okay, right? It's all... Not copyrighted. Ritual? Okay. Oh, sorry! Wanted to turn the corner. Excuse me! I'm sorry, that was... Not cool of me. Who's talking? It's clear, open skies, but don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun. Yeah, yeah, I feel like we're with a car, getting around to places might be marginally easier. Certainly feels like it. Mm hmm. But of course, we're missing out on that sweet athleticism EXP. Man. Uh. Oh, wow. A view that I would normally never see, because apparently I wake up at like 11. Hey! You know, if I lose, I'll also be losing 2,000, so this is gonna be great. Fine, but we're raising the stakes. Fair. See, no problem with that. So, so can, can we, we get, get started? started? Okay, I don't really remember how to fight, but I'll figure it out. Show me what you got. Oh, you're a slow attacker. If I block, will I be okay? Oh! It's exactly like The Witcher, except it's in first person. I want to try countering if we can. Yeah, yeah! Thankfully, these guys don't have, like, steel implants and stuff. Not that I can see anyway. They attack slower than you would expect. So the counter-attack takes a little bit to uh, nail down, but BOOM! 
Boom, boom. Y'all give up? And you had enough like your brother or hungry for more? That ain't my brother. Oh, that's me. Jesus, what's so hard to understand? Here, your winnings. Where are they? You uh, oh. want something? Joe? Don't worry. There's always the next fight. Stop talking to yourself. Whoops. Sorry, that was kind of. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking rat you out. Listen, out of curiosity, you guys can read each other's thoughts. No, no. Same person. Same person. Same, same thoughts. thoughts. If that weren't the case, I'd be on schizoid meds. Incredible. Oh, good to see you transition from circus ring to boxing ring. That's rude. Give me a break. That's rude. Hey, I'm sure the Ripper didn't swap anything else out. I felt like I was fighting against four left hands. Fuck you! <laughs> well, thank you for the money. Thank you. Not so bad. Interesting thought though, huh? They're not the same person. Well, they have two bodies, but they are the same person. That's the whole idea behind what they are right now. But you know, they had separate criminal records, so obviously, in the law, they are considered two different people. And their names seem to be ever so slightly different as well. So, hmm. Is that procedure even legal? Kinda wonder. <laughs>